Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Series 6 Wolverine from Toy Biz. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the front of the figure. This is probably also one of my favorite Wolverines. It's up there with the Hitmonkey or, you know, San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, Wolverine. But I just, I just think this one's really cool. This is the same body mold that Hasbro ended up reusing for the Red Hulk Build-A-Figure Yellow Wolverine and also their uh, X-Force Wolverine. In that, in that wave. And I've always been a fan of this brown costume. Let's go look at the details of them next. Alright guys, looking up front, I mean up, <laughs> up close in the face, I just, I love this kind of smirk he has. He's got that classic Wolverine smirk and I love how they did this mask. It's not really pliable, so you don't have to worry about it getting bent. But I love how it comes up high on his head and the white eyes. It just looks awesome. But checking him out, he just got great detail. Um, just a really awesome Wolverine head. I just think it's just just perfect to me. I, I really like this figure a lot. And coming down, it's just got more of the darker brown with the lighter tan on the side. And then on his arms, he's got hairy arms with the veins. I think that looks really cool. Um, same thing at the back, just you know, it's just that classic brown suit Wolverine. It looks really cool with the dark brown with the light brown or light tan in the middle. Got the red belt with the X Men logo in the center. And he's got a little bit of a black spray like around his neck, it looks really cool. But the gloves are just kind of painted on. And his claws, mine aren't too bad. This one, see it's a little warped, it's kind of bent. I haven't really uh, messed around with him too much, but um, I'm sure that can be fixed with uh, hot water and cold water. Just kind of get him to where you want. Then again, it kind of comes down, you can see on the other arm, it's got hair in the veins too. It's just got more of the tan after the brown short, or brown, like underwear type front. <laughs> I love how these boots turned out too. I mean, they look great. It's got the it's just an awesome looking Wolverine figure. I just like how those turned out. They're just perfect. The little black stripe, brown boots, the black on the sides. It's got a little bit of shading in the middle to kind of bring out that muscle definition. Looking on the back, again, see this just just a really nice figure. Um, I definitely recommend getting this one for your X-Men. Um, we're going to go into the articulation. It's got a great range of articulation. Moves, head moves down very far. Looks up really far. So you can go against Sentinels, you know, Sabertooth, whoever. Uh, left and right. He's got the armpit joint. And then he's got the ball joints. So you can move forward and out. The bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, moves very far. He's got uh, wrist rotation. And his hands can close down, but makes like a perfect fist. Looks cool. He's got a rotation at the upper. Um, <laughs> got uh, kind of like an ab crunch. It just slides forward, um, slides back, and it rotates. He's also got waist uh, rotation. He's got the Y joint, so you can kick forward. You can kick out, which is fine. He's got the bicep swivel, double jointed knees. Ankles move down and back. And he's got no a slight ankle rocker, not too much. And he's also got rotation at the boot and toe articulation and pickles at the bottom of his feet. Boom! So he's got a great range, uh, perfect, you know, for this character for Wolverine. I'll go ahead and um, do a measurement for him so you guys can see how tall he is. Okay, so Wolverine stands roughly at the just below the six inch mark which is perfect for this character since he's not a tall guy anyways and I'll go ahead and do a little comparison with all the other Wolverines that I have alright guys so here he is next to the face off Wolverine right here and the San Diego Comic Con exclusive X-Force Wolverine and his son Dakin, Dakin Dakin or Dakin whichever I hear it both ways but you can see he's roughly the, around the same size um, Close to the same size as the face off Wolverine, which I have is in really bad condition. His ankles are super loose. But you can see, like, just the X Force ones, just a little bit taller, but they're about the same. He's kind of hunched over because that one joint kind of needs to be rotated. But overall, I mean, it's a great Wolverine figure. Obviously, um, I'd say this is definitely second best, if not, you know, they're really close in type, but I just prefer this one. But yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review on. The Series 6 um, Wolverine by Toy Biz. He also comes with a base. Um, I don't have the base. It's kind of like a little, looks like a dojo. It's a little guy kneeled in front of it. But I just don't have that. 
Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Um, definitely leave a comment, hit the like button, check out my other reviews, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, bub. Bruh.